So Mr. B has been very busy for the last two days. As you can see there, it's nearly, nearly finished. Let me show you the mammoth task that has been shingled this roof. So it's absolutely enormous. 60 meters. 60 meters long, according with Mr. B. Square, sorry, 60 meters square of roofing, and Mr. B is just approaching the end. Let me explain to you everything else. So, while Mr. B finished the shingle up in the roof, let me show you. There, I couldn't help myself. I have started to decorate already. Pixie's making sure I'm doing a good job. Now, the kitchen part himself, as you can see, is coming along nicely. As you've seen in the video, me and Mr. B have assembled this earlier, late last week, should I say. It's Monday today. So, that big boy there was hard work to put it there. I reckon it's about 200 kilos, is it, Mr. B? The chimney pot? I'd say so. It must be about 200, 250 kilos. Very, very heavy to be handled by two people, or should I say a person and a half, me being the half. So, we are still looking for an extension because we need to take the chimney of the barbecue all the way through the roof and out so that when we are using the barbecue, the smoke will go out and not stay inside. So we are still hunting for that. We are hoping to get one very soon. Anyway, so I have started putting my little bits on. And here we had a change of plan. If you remember in my last video, I said we're going to do it right across. But when I started to remove all the, the topsoil, we realized that this lovely ivy, the root is actually there and we didn't want to destroy that because although I'm not a ivy lover, let's face it, it's still better than that ugly wall that we have. So we decided to keep it. So Mr. B came up with the idea to do this planter for me. So it looks really nice because it matches the rest of the kitchen. And I topped it up yesterday and I already divided. So I'm going to grow some herbs in there. Probably not this year anymore, but next year will be all nice and ready. So going across, as you can see, it's quite vast. So to the point, these openings that Mr. B have created, he has created three of them not only to bring light into the outdoor space, but also to allow light to the back of the house. So what we're going to do with it, I'm going to show you because I can never pronounce this stuff properly. So basically this is the same stuff people use in the conservatory roof. So the plan is we have three of these and Mr. B is going to fit them in that openings there. And once that is done, the house will be, well, the house, sorry, the outdoor space will be completely watertight. Obviously, still a lot of electrics to do. Keep an eye, I'm going to do a video of a nice light fitting above the dining table with an old ladder that I'm keeping in my she shed. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing a video on that. Obviously the guttering still needs to be done. In here, I cut this pallet to size and after much deliberation, I decided I want to get the fridge. Second hand, of course, is me. I'm going to get the second hand fridge freezer to put up there so that we can have cool drinks when we are outside and I can do with an extra freeze anyway, so it's going to go in there. So this is what we have at the moment. 
still not finished, has rained for three weeks nonstop in Lancashire people. So we haven't been able to get up in the roof and that's why it's taking so long. So I'm hoping the next video will be the finished product completely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let us know. Give a, put a comment below and I will try to help with whatever I can. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.